things about building robots for a long period of time is you end up with a lot of spare parts. Okay? At one point in time, this was a weapon bar for last rites. So it would have been like yay long. It would have been much longer than this. And back when we still ran mortician before, we shortened it up to what you see right here to run for mortician. Now, the mount setup then is the same size as last rites, tombstone, and whatnot. So it's much bigger than the arrangement for mortician. So we had to make a weird custom hub to get this all to bolt together. But it, it all worked, and we actually did use this for mortician way back when. The thing is now, with the new design we're going to do for mortician, we're going to have the weapon bars actually be shorter and spin them faster. So, I mean, it's, it, it'll still have the same energy, but structurally it's going to have a smaller reach. And so this weapon bar, even though it's usable, is really going to be too long to fit in the new frame. So... As it sits right now, this thing is just shy of 28 inches long, and it's going to need to be 24 inches to match up with the, the length of the other weapons that we're making. So, we're going to modify it. Okay. So, I've already taken the bolts out for the teeth, so we're going to take the teeth off the bar. Okay. And if you look at the way the mount is set up, basically there were two large bolts and then this, this big key arrangement to hold the tooth in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it back far enough that I can reuse this hole and just move the tooth back here. So I only have to drill and tap one new hole, but obviously I'll have to machine it down in there to get all this to fit. So the game plan right now then is going to be to cut this off and then remachine this so that I can remount these teeth. And when I'm done, I'll end up with a weapon bar that's uh, you know, two inches, it's going to be about four inches shorter than what we started out with, and we'll be ready to do some damage. aspects for this one are all done. Uh, so we got it cut off, we got it squared up, we got the pockets all machined, um, got the new hole set on each side for the other bolt, and got everything bolted in place. So um, it actually turned out really pretty well. Um, so the overall length of this right now is just under 24 inches, which matches up with the other weapon bars. Um, we're about... Eh, 25 and a half, a little more tip to tip, which will fit perfect in the frame. So this is this ended up turning out really good. Um, there's one more thing I'm going to have to do. So to keep the whole weapon assembly from sliding up and down on that, that shaft, I usually sort of tack weld the sprocket to the shaft. Um, and you can actually see one of those, one of those little tack welds cracked. So I'm going to reflow that, do those there. Um, it's, it's kind of a cheap way engineering to do this, but it keeps everything from moving. And then if I ever need to take it off, it's really easy to just spin that in a lathe and cut the welds and take it back apart. So uh, we're going to, going to tack this on, and then that weapon bar should be done. So this one is essentially uh, combat ready. It's all set to go. Um, sadly, we may not actually use it. There's only certain opponents that this one would be the right one for, but uh, um, at least I'll, I'll have it. I'd rather have it than not have it. So, 
Um, like all our videos, if you like what we're doing, like and subscribe, and we've got uh, we've got more coming on the rebuild for Mortician for Robo Games.